be making basics. What's going on YouTube beat making basics back again with another dope video. If you're new to my channel, please do me a favor. Go ahead and subscribe as well as give me a thumbs up because we're coming back to back with bangers. Now today's video, I'm going to be showing you the quickest way to get an out of sync sample in sync in Logic Pro 10. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Now, the first thing you need to do is go ahead and grab a software instrument track and we're going to go ahead and go to quick sampler. You just go all the way down here to the middle, quick sampler, go to stereo, open it up and just create from here uh, basically this is the quick sampler um, we have a lot of things we could do here we can go to splice we can pretty much go over here and um, do some of these samples if you type in R&B um, you can actually search for different samples that you could use here you can click over here and click on melody and then we can use one of these let's check it out just drag it and drop Once you find something that you like, just drag and drop it into the quick sampler. What I recommend if you're just getting started, just use classic mode. It's actually the one of the easiest modes to, um, you know, say an edit in. You can come over here and uh, click reverse right here if you want. We'll push command K and that's going to pull up musical typing. Let's check it out. So now it just took the sample to the next level just by reversing it. And then you can also come over here and do follow tempo. So like if it's at 120, you would be at that. Or we can pull it up some. So basically, once we had this uh, sample in here, we have follow tempo on, we have either reversed or pushed forward, we can come in here and then treat this sample as, you know, a regular note. So I'm gonna come over here and I'm basically gonna put this loop together and we're gonna go ahead and turn on the metronome and I'm gonna push command K again. You could draw notes in, you could use your MIDI keyboard or you can push command K to use your musical typing. And you can just basically record some notes in here. So that's what we're going to do. Let's get it. And sometimes when you're uh, working in Logic, certain things don't sync like it's supposed to. If that ever happens, don't worry. All you have to do is just right click it, bounce it in place. It's going to turn it into an audio file. And then what you want to do is come to the very tail end of your sample. This would be like right there. And then you push Command T to cut it or trim it. And then from here, we'll just click that little hourglass guy right there. Turn him on. This is your flex tool. You can either make this, you can make it line up like this. All right, cool. So. Now that we have that in place, the next thing that I would recommend doing is go ahead and drag this back into the uh, quick sampler. And so what we're gonna do is just drag it into this gray area and go to quick sampler original. And now I have my sample back again and it's in sync, okay? So pretty much, let's see. So there you go, man. That's the quickest way to actually get an out of sync sample in sync in Logic Pro 10. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.